Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend and a great Labor Day. I am here this morning, which I'm usually here on Mondays, but I have switched it up to this for this week only um, for Tuesday. And I will be back to let you know exactly what this is all about. Welcome back, everyone. I am so excited this morning to be sharing with you this video. And it is a collaboration, and it is hosted by Jessica at Waldock Way and Abby at Rooted in Rest. Two fantastic channels. Um, they have so many awesome videos. Make sure to stop by and check them out. And also, there'll be a playlist with everybody, all the mamas that are participating in this collaboration. And this collaboration is about morning baskets. So, this morning, I'm going to be sharing with you what we're doing. And obviously, as you can see, we're talking about birds. And I have a couple different spines that I'm going to be um, implementing in this morning basket. And the first one that I'm going to be using is North American Birds, and it is a unit study. And this is by Gather Round. So this is the first one that um, that we are using. Uh, we have started um, and we are talking. It's really nice if you're not familiar with this curriculum and you'd like to see a flip through, just leave that information down below. But it has all the lessons here. There are 20. This is meant to be for four weeks or five or six, depending on how each individual implements it in their home and the amount of time they spend on it per week. But the first lesson is about the bald eagle. And it gives you, it has different levels, pre-reader, early reader, early elementary, upper elementary, middle school, and then high school. I have a pre-reader, and I also have a high schooler. So it is a wide <laughs> range between the two. But I wanted to show you really quickly how the lesson is set up. And um, it's, like I said, we're talking about the bald eagle. It has uh, science, social studies, geography, language arts, um, art, atlas maps, or globe, Bible, and so there are so many wonderful subjects you will cover in each lesson. And it outlines each one. It tells you which each lesson is about and what it's going to cover. And then it goes into the hummingbird. And it goes into several different birds of North America. The morning dove. So this is our spine, one of them that we're using. I'm also implementing the book seeds by Blossom and Root. And it's A Nest is Noisy. And we will be using this, which is absolutely wonderful. I love this too. And it comes along, it is using this book. So if you have A Nest is Noisy, you can get this at the library. I bought mine and purchased mine. I have the whole set. It's a beautiful book. So it goes along with this book. And there are many different things you'll cover, science and nature, STEM activities, um, engineering and nature, math and nature, just several, art projects, kitchen, classroom, nature journaling, and wonderful words. And just absolutely beautiful photos. So this is the next one that I'm using. And then another one that we will be using also is Tanglewood Hollow. Now we won't use these all on the same day, but we will use different parts of each one on different days. And this is like morning circle time. It's got different uh, songs that you can sing, which is really fun. There's art. Um, it talks about nesting and painting eggs. Shows you beautiful pictures of the different birds and their eggs. And we are using some rocks this shape, and we are going to paint them to look like these eggs and I also have some solid wood eggs that we can paint also but we thought it would be fun to paint the rocks so it just talks about in the garden and bird watching and making a nest and and how you can make a nest and the things that they use so once again um, a lot of fun using this also lots of great things shows you a beautiful parts of a feather it's 
really pretty. So those are the three main things that we'll be using. And then I'm going to go through just quickly with you on the books that we're going to use. So the first one is called The Egg, Birds by National Geographic, Nest, 199 Birds, Why Do Birds Fly South, Why Do Birds Sing, See How They Grow, Inside an Egg, Earthworm, from egg to a robin, migration, who hatches the egg, the nest full of eggs. I love the picture on the front of that book. <clears throat> Excuse me. Birds and their feathers. Beautiful book inside. It has several different birds and it shows their feathers and where they're located, where you can find them. I, I love that it has the different feathers because we find feathers from time to time and then we can match what birds they go with. We have feathers, not just for flying, and it talks to you about why you have feathers and why do birds have feathers. They're not just to fly with, and we can find out all the reasons why. Beautiful inside on this book also. Who, who is it? Bear and the birds. Birds. This is a sticker birth book of North American birds. And I like this because they can go through as we're talking about the different birds. And they have scenery where we can put the stickers. But it talks about the American birds, North American birds, excuse me, that we're covering. And I thought, what a wonderful um, addition. And um, it is really nice. I, I, I like this one really well. And then I also have... The Big Book of Birds, and then I got the Big uh, the big Sticker Book of Birds. So there's tons, there's just hundreds of stickers in here to place in different locations, but beautiful books. If you've not seen these, I do have a video on all the big books of, so you can go back and watch that if you'd like. I have Bird Houses. Do chicks ask for snacks about birds? How do birds find their way? I've often wondered that. The best nest. A bird on my hand. Beautiful book, National Geographic. Little Kids' First Big Book of Birds. This is absolutely gorgeous. And here's the bald eagle that we are doing on our first lesson with a lot of great information. It has home, food, egg, chicks, and size. And, and nesting, it just, there's so many beautiful birds and just answers so many questions you might have. And gorgeous, gorgeous photos. So I really like this book. Beautiful book. The next one is Mama Built a Little Nest. An egg is quiet. There was an old lady who swallowed a chick. The next book is kind of like a series that I bought because these are birds that they're going to be talking about in North American Birds um, by Gather Round. The first one is Robins, Cardinals, American Crows, Morning Doves, House Sparrow, Hummingbirds, and Blue Jays. So there were several of these that I got um, absolutely beautiful inside too. I mean, the photos are gorgeous. So you will not be disappointed if you have not seen these books. They are beautiful. I had never used them before. So absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful. So in each one is as lovely as the next. The next book, and I think this is the last book that we're using. Yes, it is. Or no, I'm sorry. I have one other besides this. This is Birds of a Feather, and these are poems about birds. So I thought how appropriate to share in this poetry on the beautiful birds that they have in this book and um, try to memorize one of the poems, pick one, and really focus on that. And, of course, go through... 
on Poetry Tea Time and go through and read our different poems on birds. Very nice. I love this book also. Whoops, kind of a, sorry about the glare. And then the last book that you saw pictured um, when I started the video is called Birds Explore Nature with Fun Facts and Activities. And I like this because it has, this is a table of content, um, it's by DK, uh, looking at birds, how to draw a bird, and then it talks, what what is a bird? Feather friends, taking to air, patterns in the air, from soaring to bounding, and they just got so many things, finding a mate, eggs and hatching, great information the first day good parents um, cup shaped nest and these are strange nests Look at this one it looks really odd how it's shaped but that you just go through and there's just all this great information on birds fun facts about them so I really liked this book um, the next things I'm going to show you are activities that we're going to be doing <clears throat> Excuse me. The first thing I want to share with you is we're going to learn the parts of a robin. And it has a wheel to spin and it shows the different life cycles. This is our felt robin. And Mama at Happy um, Mama's Happy Hives, she created this and I purchased this from her. Um, absolutely lovely. All her work is um, beautiful. And it has all the parts, and you label the bird, and then you can spell out the bird. It has where you can write the bird. So really, really nice set. So I got this from her. We also have, let me bring this around, a puzzle. This is a Montessori. goes with my set um, where they can see how fragile the little feet are and the tail and the beak and the face and the feathers. So a fun puzzle for them to do on birds. I also have these cards. I have two sets in here. <clears throat> and these, it shows you like the actual bird, the life size of the egg gives you the great information about the bird. And this is the American Robin and I have several of them. And they're absolutely beautiful. All of these. And I laminated them, I think with the number seven or ten the highest I think pretty high anyway so they're really nice and durable but beautiful I love 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 them I think they're fantastic and great and I'm so happy that I have those then I also have a set that I purchased and these are alphabet because we are learning um, phonetic sounds and um, the difference between upper and lower case for Mason and kindergarten and working on um, putting words together and blending. So I thought these would be perfect. And it has different ones like the American Robin. For each letter, there is a different bird. So I really liked these also. thought those were really nice to have. Then we have this birdhouse that we are going to paint. Because as we spoke, not every bird migrates. And there are going to be some that stay. So we are going to paint this up. I thought it would be rather fun for Mason to do. We also have these eggs. And inside these eggs are, if I can get it open, sorry about that. They have different colors in here. And you have to match the face. Does this face match this face? So there's this little face here. And then this face. And of course, they're not in order right now. But you want to look for the face that has the same kind of face on it and match them. Uh, Mason, I just put them all back and stuck them in here. But this is a really fun little game to do, something for him to do while I'm reading a read aloud. I also have these cards. It's called On the Go Birds. And on each bird, on each, I'm sorry, card, it shows a picture of the bird, tells you the name Robin. And if you flip it over on the back side, it gives you some great information on each bird. So there's several different birds in here. I got these at Target at the dollar spot for a dollar. There, and I'm telling you, I've learned a lot of great things about these birds. Really fun to have. The next ones um, are just pictures of birds, and it gives you the different um, the bird name, and it talks about different birds. Those are just different cards for him to use and play with. We also have um, these are. 
the birds. These are the backyard birds. And we have all the different ones. They're really pretty. These are from Tubes. And then we have the three-part cards that go along with it. So these are Backyard Birds three-part cards. So they will go and they will look for this bird. They will try to locate this bird. And then if you want to make it a step harder, they will go through this pile and they will try for the three-part. They will match the, what they will do is Mason will take the card. He will look for the same word and then he will match it with the bird. So it's just, that's why they're called three-part. You can also do it this way if they're younger, and he can match that. Or you can add the third part to make it a little more challenging for them. And Mason loves these cards. He thinks they're rather fun. So that is another one that we do. We also have Professor Noggins, um, Birds of North America, which is really fun for all of us to play. We like this game. And you can choose either... Um, hard or easy and you roll your dice and whatever it lands on that is the question you need to answer so these are really cool i love professor noggin games lots of fun with those another one we have is match a pair of birds and these are beautiful cards Put that off so it's match a pair and you have to look for the birds and look for and look at the names and match the bird set. So this is another fun game to play when we're doing um, game schooling. On Fridays, we do that opposite of poetry tea time. Um, we're also going to grow a peacock. So this, I thought, would be fun for Mason. You add water, and you watch it, and it starts growing. It gets beautiful feathers, and it ends up looking like that. So I thought, how fun for Mason to do. The next one we have is a felt set. And it is a felt bird play set. And it makes it kind of glary. I haven't opened it yet. I'm just going to let him. But it comes with um, one tree trunk, one dragonfly, one beetle, two worms, and four birds. I don't know if you can see the ones underneath there. But super, super cute. So that is one that he will play with. And I know that he will really like. And then we have the eagle. And um, his favorite one, he loves the robin. And we just love all the bird sounds. So lots of fun. Um, we are enjoying this uh, morning basket. We love birds. We love outdoors. We love nature. We love everything about it. So this is going to be super fun to do with the kids and just being out in nature and studying all the wonderful things about birds. How fun is that? So we are excited to do this, and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I'm doing my next video. And don't forget to stop by everyone's channel. And I just thank you for taking part of your Tuesday morning with me. And may God richly bless you in this day. Bye-bye.